Well, um, you know, we gave ourselves chances in the first two sets. It didn't work out. Uh, breaks didn't go our way, but they just made a decision um, at the break that they were going to continue to play hard and make their own breaks. And uh, that's what they did, fought hard and controlled game three and four. And then uh, that's about as epic as game five as you'll see. And, uh, you know, Wisconsin serving twice to win the match. We fought them off and made the plays in the end for a big, big road win. Well, at times we did. We had too many service errors tonight, but uh, overall you can't discount the effort that we made just from a, an attack standpoint, block, dig. I mean, it was just a great effort by um, everybody that was on the bench, everybody that was out there on the floor, and we had some Jayhawk faithful in the stands too, so that was fun. Yeah, she was, uh, she was uh, key tonight, uh, took a lot of good swings for us, uh, made some good blocks. Um, proud of her to play uh, big in a moment like that. Chelsea Albers, I think, and um, I'm not sure if it was Jar or Susie helping her, but uh, it was great to close it out that way. Yeah, and, and now they feel how it feels to win against a really good team on the road, um, which we've done in a couple other situations, but probably the best team, obviously, we played to this point in the year uh, on the road. So uh, it, was, it was a good, good opportunity for our team, and they came through. Well, I mean, our mission was to come here and win the tournament, and you can't do that at just winning two matches. we got to get ready to go at Bowling Green tomorrow, and, and uh, they didn't play well today. Bowling Green did not, but we've seen enough tape of them to know they're an extremely quality opponent. So I told them after the match, a really quality team will bounce after a good win and give another good effort. All right, guys, with somebody that's seen this team go through so much, how big was tonight's win? <sighs> it was huge. I mean, to be on the road, Playing a ranked team, being down two sets, I mean, it just showed so much character. And Coach Todd said in the locker room after the match, it's just like that part is uncoachable. The, you know, the heart, the passion of the game and working together as a team, that's you can't coach. So it definitely came within, from within. Coming down from an 0-2 deficit is something KU has been since 2008. Oh, hey. I think this team is just, that's what it does. All mm -hmm. of a sudden, new records. So I feel like that's something really difficult. Definitely, like, I mean, you know, it's not a goal of ours, you know, but um, when we went into the locker room, that two-set break, it was like you could see the determination on everybody's face. Like, we were not leaving until we had that win and we were going to take it from them. And that's, I mean, even when we go down match points, 16, 13 in the fifth, there was really no point that I felt like, oh, no. Yeah, no. Like, I felt the confidence, like, even when we were, the like, when we lost those first two sets, like, it felt like we were in control. We were just making errors that, you know, isn't, aren't very characteristic of us. So we just had to clean up our side and just, like, swing away and be aggressive. And, I mean, it translated in the next three sets. We've seen some really good crowds. I mean, when you go pack full of SEC <clears> 10, we've yeah. seen some really good crowds on the road. How much, how much stronger do you feel like, yeah, shut up, I don't care. Definitely. I mean, like, the Wisconsin, I have to, you know, like, give it to the Wisconsin crowd that, like, they weren't rude or anything. So, um, I mean, you almost just need to take the energy of the crowd and, like, channel it towards yourself. Like, everybody, I feel like we got used to playing in front of crowds and, like, especially more of the experienced girls. So, I think we just take that energy from the crowd and, like, let it feed us. Is this one of those moments? For sure, yeah. Like I, like I said in the locker room after the match, it's like we've set a new standard, and it's it's feels great to be able to kind of demonstrate how good of a team we actually are. Because you know, there's like always talk about last year and everything, but like this is this year, and it was really awesome to be able to show everybody how we can actually play.